welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash daily dash devotional. Hello. This week we're focusing on 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 to 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 to 18. Here, Paul explores the nature of Christian ministry and service. You can catch yesterday's sermon, Covenantal Love, on our passage at www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash sermons. Let's read the reading together, today from the New Living Translation. Treasure in Fragile Clay Jars Therefore, since God in his mercy has given us this new way, we never give up. We reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We don't try to trick anyone or distort the word of God. We tell the truth before God, and all who are honest know this. If the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil, it is hidden only from people who are perishing. Satan, who is the god of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of God. You see, we don't go around preaching about ourselves. We preach that Jesus Christ is Lord, and we ourselves are your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let there be light in the darkness, has made this light shine in our hearts, so we could know the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. We now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of, our, of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. Yes, we live under constant danger of death because we serve Jesus, so that the life of Jesus will be evident in our dying bodies. So we live in the face of death, but this has resulted in eternal life for you. But we continue to preach because we have the same kind of faith the psalmist had when he said, I believed in God, so I spoke. We know that God, who raised the Lord Jesus, will also raise us with Jesus and present us to himself together with you. All of this is for your benefit. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, there will be great thanksgiving, and God will receive more and more glory. That is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them, and will last forever. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. Amen. Paul says in verse 2, We reject all shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We don't try to trick anyone or distort the word of God. We tell the truth before God, and all who are not honest know this. Have you failed to recognise someone in the past few months because they were wearing a mask? I've certainly double-taken a few times and almost missed someone I know. We all wear masks at certain times. We want to look our best. We want to win people's approval. We feel as if who we really are doesn't measure up to expectations. And so we put on a mask. We put on a facade and pretend we're someone else. Paul rejects this way of living. In his tricky relationship with the Corinthian church, he refuses to use trickery to win them over, or to add or to dilute the word of God. 
He makes no attempt to motivate or please his audience, or to take scripture out of context to appeal to their own views. He simply tells the truth. He pledges to tell the truth before God, and to be honest at all times. If you read the rest of his two letters to the Corinthian church, you'll know that leaves him in a vulnerable position. But Paul would rather be who God made him to be, than to win people's approval. It's a great example for each of us. God didn't create you to be someone else. He wants you to be you. When you wear a mask and put up a facade, you end up stressed and concerned about being shown up for who you really are. So let's pledge to be who God made us to be. Not perfect, but authentic. That's the path to real blessing. As you go about your day to day, why not think through the following question? What are you most worried about people finding out about you? How could you be more open and honest about it? And I'll see you tomorrow for another battle drill. We hope you have been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook or Instagram by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for our next daily devotional, Battle Drill. God bless you.